Let me show you this gamified solution for learning how to code by playing a game. We are going to uh, play a couple of levels in the codecombat.com. So here we have the first level and we'll start at the very beginning. We go ahead and select play. We can uh, change our hero. We'll go ahead and take the current set. Code Combat. Alright, so what we have here is the uh, logical scenario on the left and then on the right we can write code. And intuitively uh, we see that uh, there's a command that makes our hero move to the right. We can also move him to the left and move him down. And uh, the requirement of course here would be to move to the right, down and to the right. Let's see if I can write this out. This does uh, move down. This is the object, of course, but we'll go ahead and move it now to the right. Let's run it and see what happens. All right, the hero moves as expected. And so what this helps me to do is get the feel for the keyword this, which appears a lot in JavaScript. And uh, it helps me to get a feel for how the methods um, are written, so the syntax with the parentheses at the end. Excellent. Let's say down to that one. Let's go to the next challenge and we'll just skip about perhaps the skiff mate as the next one. Alright, let's play that. Code combat. Alright, in this scenario we are introduced to a loop statement and in this loop we need to have our hero go to the right, then go up, go right, go down, and then repeat it. So let's give that a try. We'll say create a loop. Now if you just leave it as move to the right, you can see that the poor hero is losing life and dies. So we're going to move to the right, but then immediately move up. All right, after that, we'll make the hero move to the right again. All right, and one more time, move the hero, this time down. So the loop tells us to go right, up, right, and down. And if we repeat the loop, we will move through the maze. Let's see move how that right. works. Move up. Move right. Move down. Move right. Move up. Move right. So now I'm introduced to this concept of loops, where Move something right. just repeats and repeats and Move repeats up. in the exact Move sequence right. of steps that I've defined. Move down. And that works really well for Move learning right. programming. We'll say down to that. All right, let's try another one. This time we'll say uh, the known enemy challenge. And uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, play this level. Code combat. Attack. All right. So Attack. in this instance, we have a scenario of multiple enemies with specific names, which are attacking our hero. And you can see that the more we let them play, the less life the hero has. Now, we could uh, fight these enemies by name. So the first enemy is the Kreat, then the Gerd, and the Ursa. Uh, it takes two hits to defeat an enemy. And so let's just, to start with, just spell things out the way the code intends. So we'll go ahead and hit the second enemy, Gerd, twice, and the third enemy twice. So now, if we run this, we have the first enemy, the second, and the third and the mission is accomplished. But you could do it actually differently without naming the enemy. Here's how it could be done. You say attack and then you can use this find enemy method, all right? And whatever the next enemy uh, comes up to you, that's the enemy that is going to be attacked. We'll make sure that there are two hits for each enemy. Let's see how this will work. Oh, 
yeah, that works just fine. So you can see how you can be creative within the, uh, the game itself. Now the other thing that you can do is you can actually try to beat a dead horse here where you take an enemy like uh, perhaps Krat and you hit him uh, even after he's dead. Now let's I see how this will work. But it's dead. And so of course the game gives us feedback that this enemy is already dead. All right, let's move on. So this time we're going to move to uh, a different level and to try this gems or death challenge. All right, let's give it a try. In this challenge, we actually have um, a little bit of graphics introduction with positions on the screen. So we have the X location and the Y location, and we can move our hero uh, across the screen. So as you can see, we have this move X and Y, right? So we can move him to a specific location from where he's at. So it's relative that way. And also we have the introduction of logic. We have if statement and one plus one plus one equals three. So this if statement is true. All right. Unfortunately, when we run the code, moving to location 5.5, five, and by, by the way, if you uh, move your cursor on the screen, you can figure out where the different locations are and what the coordinates are. So moving the uh, hero to position 5.15 will kill him. So what we want to do is we want to make this statement false. All right, let's see what happens. Now that the statement is false, the hero moves immediately up. So this is the next statement. All right, here we have another statement. And the hero gets ambushed by these uh, large enemies. So what we would want to do is we would want the hero to fight this little enemy with, uh, with a bow. And this is done right here. So 2 plus 2... Uh, statement needs to be true. Right now the statement is false. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the statement into true. Let's see what happens next. All right, so I have some kind of a problem here. Target is no, is there always a target to attack? Use the F statement. All right, so uh, the game gives me feedback that my code is not correct. Since this now is going to get executed, they want to know that the only time an enemy will be attacked is if the enemy is found. Alright, the way we would get this accomplished is by saying if enemy is found, so if enemy isn't null, then go ahead and fight the enemy. No, no work. I don't see anyone. Alright, so now we are coming to oh, that didn't work. And we got ambushed again. Well, I'm going to have to fix this issue here. Uh, let's see. Moving to the second gem. Uh, 2 plus 2 is less than 5. That's true. And now we're going to find the enemy. And now we're going to attack the enemy. Okay. We might need to hit the enemy twice. Give it a try. There we go. And for this to work, we have to put braces around two lines of code after the NF statement. I don't see anyone. All right. Well, that works not well at all. <laughs> Let's start from the beginning. Uh, so the hero did not survive, which is too bad, and we did not grab any gems. So the gems are at position 1540. Okay, so why? Okay, so 1540 is right here. So we actually want this statement to be true. So we're going to grab the first gem. All right, so don't get blown up. So this is false. This is true. And then we have the next gem. Let's see how I it works don't so see far. Anyone. Okay, so we grab the first gem. Now we go down. All right, and so we have to grab the second gem. 
So we are not going deep enough here. So the second gem is at position 2516. All right, 2516. Let's go ahead and afterwards here, we're just going to say this doesn't move to uh, 25 and 16. So that's going to grab a second gem. Let's give it a try. Grab it. Uh, yeah. I don't see anyone. All right. So here's what the issue is. We, the way the game executes is not uh, in sequence. So the if statements don't fall in sequence. That's okay. Uh, what we need to do is we need to move this inside of the if statement because we want things to happen one by one. Let's give it a try. Okay, oh yeah, I, I cut off the comment. There we go. All right, the first gem. I don't see anyone. Oh, that didn't work. 2516. So we went to the first gem. 1540. Okay. Um, a little issue here with uh, following my own code. All right, let's give it a try. There we go. Run this. I see you. All right, and so now this code was caught where we found the enemy, we hit the enemy twice, and now the only problem is that our hero gets ambushed, and he gets ambushed at location 4051, um, and so what we want to avoid the hero uh, doing is walking up to this group of uh, marauders. So what we'll do here is we'll change this, but we'll say 4 is less than 4, which is going to be false, and now the hero will avoid that location. Excellent. All right, stop. Don't go now. Okay, so he got blown up because he ended up navigating to location 5010. We don't want the hero to be there. Let's mark that as false. All right, let's see what's happening next. Okay, navigating, navigating. Uh, and he's stuck. Why? Because the last statement is false. We want to turn that to true so that he continues to walk to the gems. I see you. And there it is. And that's how it's done. We grabbed all the gems and there, there are no code problems. Well, this is fun. I think that uh, the design of the game is right on. I think that um, the urgency to create the code and uh, the excitement behind making it work is there. So congratulations on a really nice game. Thanks.